Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing there is a touch actions, tab and long press, how we can able to use this mobile automation testing by using Python. Okay. What is the touch and tab means you can, uh, I'm going to show you a simple example that is the contacts. Okay. If I use for single touch, okay, then it will open for this particular edit box. Okay. Then if I use for long press, then it will give for touch, uh, tick mark and delete and the selected option and these three dots. Okay. How we can able to do this particular kind of actions. Okay. Touch and long press how we can able to do these actions. Okay. For this, we need to connect for this particular app by using uh, app M inspector. Okay. I already connected and kept here. Okay. It will provide you whenever you selected. It will, sorry. Now you can see there is an accessibility ID because we are clicking for name section. Okay. That's why it will give you for direct accessibility ID. By using direct name, we can able to select our ID by using for this particular accessibility ID. Okay. Without any creating for any X path. If you want, you can create a X path contacts and location and like that. You can able to create because in real time different names will be presented. Okay. And if you don't want this one, you need to click some index based something that also we can able to do anything we can able to do. Okay. Direct accessibility is there. You can try for that and you can try for X path and uh, one way and I'll show you for second way of that. Okay. What exactly means I'm going to take for resourceability resource ID and the index position by index position. I can able to take and I can able to click for that. Okay. This action, how we can able to do, we'll see. Okay. For this, I have already some code we done in the previous videos. Okay. This is the code and just I'm going to copying and pasting here. Okay. This is my app package. I have an app activity and up to here, I'm going to use remaining things. I will delete. Okay. Now I need to create for touch action for this. Okay. For that, I need to create for. <clears throat> my X path as well. Okay. Uh, for this, I'm going to create for element because we need to click for the 10 day values, right? We need to store something uh, because index based, right? And find elements I'm going to take and here appm by dot X path. <clears throat> On a single quotation, double forward slash and a class name two square braces inside that I'm going to use for resource ID for this at the rate and resource ID double uh, equal to not double equal to single equal to and double quotation and resource ID value. Okay. Then we, um, we need to print what is the length of that particular element for this. We need to use for length of, uh, function and then we can able to use provide for object of that. Okay. Then we need to create for actions class. <clears throat> Touch action and provide for driver object. Then mouse over it will give you for import that particular one. Okay. Then we can able to use for actions a dot <coughs> tab. Okay, in the tab, I can able to provide for these are two uh, index portion. It will start for zero, zero, one, two, and uh, basically it is the three size. Then we can able to use for element and square brace, and I'm going to provide for one. Okay, now if I before running, we need to close this one. Okay, and actions right for actions before uh, completing. And we need to use for perform operation. Okay, perform. This is the perform. It will perform the action. If you are not use the perform, then it will not do for tab option. Okay. 
if I'm running now. It will connect for perform the release. We'll see. Now, one more time. Now you can see it is clicked. There is a one issue and uh, normally by default, if you use the perform, then definitely it will work. Now they are used for release as well. If you use the release, then only it is doing the action. Okay. In the last you can use for release as well. Then it will click for that a single tap. This is a single tap action. If I want to do, if I want to do for multi like a long press if i want to do for long press same thing sorry only here we need to change long press okay if i use a long press it will uh, press the long press we can see now <clears throat> previous we done for single tab if you're done the time like a single time then it will open for another window now if i press the long press the same window there is a tick mark as well as delayed option it will display now see tick mark came and also delete options okay one selected things are there okay like this we can able to do for touch actions okay there are so many actions are presented. You can go through that one by one. In case if you are getting some questions, please post into that question into my video. Then I can able to try to help you or else I will make one more video for that. Okay. If it is lengthy, then I can able to make you one more video for that. Okay. Thank you for that. Subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.